Lord, I still, Lord, I have, I have so many men in my life. My life is so dirty. Have mercy upon me. That settles it. Have mercy upon me. That cancels it. I'm sorry. Just be merciful to me and forgive me. I'm a wretched sinner. Immediately, the mercy of God will come. The peace of God will drop into your heart. And you'll be made holy. You'll be made the child of God. And Jesus will smile at you and take a ring. Where is the place? We have to put the ring for marriage. We are at peace. Forgive me, it's not my fault. <laughs> we are today putting this one or this one or this one. This one? This one? This one? This one? This one? Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Clap for Jesus. Yes. Jesus will come to you and bring his ring and say, We are married together from today and to be sealed by heaven. Amen. Amen. Clap for Jesus. Yes. Clap for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, if we move forward, what is the possibilities of faith? What can faith do? Let, let, let's look at the word of God. What with having faith, manifesting faith in God do in our lives? Church, all things, including all unclaimed vessels lying down in God's tall house in heaven, are the possibilities of faith. All things. Matthew chapter 21, verse 22. Matthew chapter 21. Matthew 21. Verse 22. It says, And all things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, Believing, ye shall receive. Praise the Lord. Alleluia. Let everybody say all things. All things. Again. All things. Again. All things. Again. All things. Are your knees inside all things? Yes. If it is, then there is no problem any longer. The possibilities of faith. All things. All things, spiritual, physical, material, all things academics, all things in all the areas of life, all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. Look at Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. Matthew 19 26. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Mark 9, 23. Mark 9, 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believes. That is how God made me to recover my back. I put my feet down. They even called me. They said, we have the connection. He didn't put it out before. That is the implication of what he said. He said, we have the connection here. Pastor, don't bother yourself. Don't worry yourself. Within two days, you are going to get new passport. Just call them and tell them to send new invitation to you. I said, please hold it, brother. Thank you very much. Come and see jubilation in the office in Abuja Church. When the bag was brought back. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All this. We wanted to go to Nigeria this last December. I bought my ticket since June. I got to the airport. Brethren from the church followed me, two of them. And they said, no more seats. I said, no, I'm traveling. My brothers were questioning them. Why did you book people when you know you have, uh, you don't, you don't have, uh, you have limited seats? Why somebody who bought ticket? I didn't thank you. I didn't talk. I just said, brethren, I'm traveling. I kept on saying, I'm traveling. I kept on saying, I'm traveling. I kept on saying, I'm traveling. One woman was there praying when she was weeping, crying. And true, true, you know, there were no seats in all for the people who book. But this is me since June, middle of the year. I bought the ticket in advance because I know, rushing hour, the prices will soar. 
I just put it on the table like this, my passport. Then I said, brother, I'm traveling. I removed my winter coat, I gave to them. I, I brought money from the pocket, you take this, you take this, you take this, buy this, buy that, buy that for yourself, give this, give this to people in the house. I'm traveling. I kept on saying, I'm traveling. Lo and behold, I was in Nigeria. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. You know what? I didn't pay for business class. When I got inside, I was going to gentleman, uh, look at economic class, those who are not, uh, I am rich. Amen. I said, I am rich. Amen. Then they said, no, that is not for you. Come to the business. Amen. I didn't pay for business class. Brethren, they that know their God, they shall be strong and do what? Exploit. You will do it. Amen. You will do it. Amen. When I came back, I told them in the church, I said, look, the brethren were seated, they were there because they were witnesses. I began to tell them, see what happened to me. I didn't pay for business card. I enjoyed the comfort in the business card, which I didn't pay for. <laughs> Clap for Jesus. <laughs> what a great promotion. That is faith. All things are possible. And the agreement came, I said, he said, Virgin Mary, I am from heaven. I am a citizen of heaven. I know the characteristics of heaven. I know the attributes of, of God, the Father, the Son. I know the nature of God. Over there and in the world here, with God, all things are possible. Yes. And many became pregnant. They are going to be pregnant with success. Amen. I changed my world. They are already pregnant with success. Amen. And you are going to deliver success. Amen. Promotion is yours. Amen. Healing is yours. Yeah. Deliverance is Amen. yours. Because the God of heaven can never fail. In Psalm 138 verse 2, we are told that he honors his word more than all his names. Those big names, beautiful names, wonderful names. Jehovah Shabbat, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Rebecca, Jehovah Shekeno, Jehovah Nisi. Those wonderful, wonderful names of God. God himself said, my word that comes from my mouth is stronger, is wonderful, more than all my names. Why don't you hold it tight? Today, you are getting it. Amen. That thing that is making you to cry, to weep, to regress, why did I do it? Why did I go that direction? This day, you are getting it. Amen. Verses, the verses we have read, they are saying that all things are possible with God and the believing man. They are saying, these verses are saying, nothing shall be impossible with God and the believing man. Number three, the verses we have read, they are all saying, whatsoever you shall ask, apply to God, to Christ, and it applies to the believing man. We conclude, therefore, according to the Bible, that faith can save the soul, can sanctify and make the believer holy and secure him a place in hell. Faith, it can endure us with power of the spirit for life and effective ministry. Faith can heal the sick. Let it be HIV. Let it be cancer. Let it be polio. Let it be whatever sickness. Faith in God will melt it away. Amen. And whatever is the eating sickness in your body, whatever the devil has planted in your body, is gone already. Amen. I say it's gone already. Amen. So we see that faith can raise the dead, can supply all our needs, can move mountains, can cast out devils. Faith can make exponential church growth possible. Faith can duplicate the ministry of Jesus Christ here on earth. Today is going to be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Now the petition, the petitions of the faithful. The petitions of the faithful. Jesus said, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do. What are the petitions? Of the faithful in that reference, reference. And whatsoever ye shall ask, whatsoever, open check, whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, I will do it. He said, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. What can I pray for them? Church, we can ask or make a petition on whatsoever we need. We can make a petition and prayer request on whatsoever we desire. 
We can make a request and prayer on whatsoever is promised us. Our redemptive right, our legal right, we can ask whatsoever is promised by God. Are you immoral? And you are saying, I know this thing is bad. I want to stop it, but it's difficult. This afternoon, the grace will fall upon you. Amen. Are you the man that you don't see a lady pass? You are troubled, you are melted, you are broken, you are lost, you are defiled, you are polluted. This afternoon, that chain that is tying down to the pole of destruction, I break it into pieces. Amen. Whatsoever is the habit that is evil, that is satanic, that has been injected into you, and you are masturbating, and you are dying, you are masturbating, you are dying, you are masturbating, you are dying. This afternoon, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatsoever is spiritually and eternally profitable to us as children of God, these are the things we can ask. These are the Christian experiences, salvation, sanctification, 